So welcome back everyone. Um, gonna do a video on the young birds uh, right now. It's gonna be one that I haven't made before. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, which ones uh, as far as this point in the season have done enough uh, where to where they have done enough to uh, stay to not to next year so basically the ones we're gonna keep um, as a yearling uh, to fly uh, obviously if you haven't seen our uh, yearling system uh, before we move them to the top loft which you can see in a previous video um, and yeah we basically have seven boxes uh, open for next year meaning we can have seven cock birds out of the uh, this um, pick out uh, birds so yeah we basically have to um, find the seven best cock birds on here and then move them to the top loft um, we will not be raising hands, uh, especially in the beginning of the season. Season We will raise hands uh, at the end, like we're doing now with the old birds. Uh, so you could say the cock birds are a little bit more important. But yeah, as you can see, that little uh, blue hen is paired up to the big grizzle right there. But uh, yeah, as far as this point in the season, um, Obviously, we got this guy right here, um, 67. This one has uh, done enough for sure to be kept as a yearling. The one sitting next to it, not as much, that's number 64. He did fly a, a second placing on 200k and it was pretty early as well on the Federation. Um, so we might keep him, we don't know yet, that's like uh, a little bit on the edge, uh, like a doubtful kind of pigeon. But yeah, this guy was first, I believe, four or five times, so that's on 100k. If that's even 67, it might be 68, but I think it's 67. Yeah, I think it is. Um, but yeah. Uh, as I said before, uh, we got 64, which is the, the one that was molting pretty bad, as you could see. Uh, that's his um, little nest box. Uh, he only flew two or three prizes. Um, one of those was really early. Uh, I tend to like to choose the ones that fly less prides and fly really early uh, to pick to pick them over the ones that uh, fly more prizes but not as early um, I think with those guys that uh, fly early like him and only a couple of times it's due to motivation a lack of motivation and now with the other ones it's just I don't think that you can fly any better uh, so yeah or, or any earlier uh, so yeah um, now we have another um, one that's for sure gonna stay, which is that Grizzle. He will for, for sure stay, um, or she will. It's actually a hen. Pretty sure it's a hen. Um, but yeah, th that guy has also been first like four or five times, or even six. Might have been six. Who's making a lot of noise? But yeah, um, so the two grizzles will stay for sure. We have a third one, but she won't, won't stay. Uh, the one sitting on the feeding, the feeding tray. Uh, she has maybe one or two prizes, which is just not enough uh, at all. So yeah. And then we got uh, a few of those uh, blue bars like this guy. Uh, would flew pretty well at the beginning of the season on 200k um, I, I believe there are uh, still a few on here like him or like her because I think it's a hen uh, like the one with white tips right there the one with white tips and then the other one I just showed you guys I think that's her 
uh, I think they're actually related uh, pretty closely. And I think they're actually related to the 200k strain that we have. Not the Ace Pigeon strain, but uh, the one that 611 uh, comes out of. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna keep uh, those. But yeah, now we have like five birds uh, already, but I don't think there's maybe one or two cockbirds. So 64 is a cockbird for sure, but um, yeah, 64 is a pencil right there. But yeah, I don't know these ones. Uh, I think most of the other ones are actually hens, um, which is unfortunate. Um, that's a really nice looking bird, but uh, I don't think he has flown too many prizes. Uh, yeah, and then we uh, basically went over the most of the birds, but then we also have 62 sitting right there. Um, I thought in the beginning that she was a hen. Turns out she's not. Uh, uh, I thought in the beginning she was a cock bird, but turns out she's a hen. So, yeah, I would like them to fly over my head so I can go to the other side. Because I still have two birds to show, which are probably going to make the cut. Um, being... Yeah, that's one of them, like those, those two black ones. I always mention the two black ones uh, in racing videos. I think uh, they're not actually our strain, they're 100% uh, not our strain. We tried them out this year um, from a fancier that quit um, and I believe he was in our club but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there are um, two breeding, uh, two all blacks breeding. Um, I believe they're 100% his. Um, so yeah, that's one of them. Uh, we have a hen and a cockbird, I'm really sure of that. So. The hen is number 59 and the cockbird is number 88. But I think that's the hen. Both have flown, flown decently, but the hen has uh, flown a really early price at the beginning of the season on 200k. So yeah, let's try and find the other one. Oh yeah, so that was... Oh, that's the cockbird. And then the hen was sitting in the nest box just now. I just saw her. Oh yeah, there they are. So yeah, that's the cockbird, that's number 88, uh, which we'll keep. And then that's the hen, number 59. So yeah, uh, we'll keep those for sure. So now we have two or three cockbirds, and like five hens, um, which will Still have uh, some open spots. I'm hoping this guy's actually a cockbird, but I'm I'm thinking it's not, uh, just by the size of the head. It's a pretty big bird, uh, like body-wise, but the head is just too small to be a cockbird, I think. So yeah, yeah, that's not actually a young bird. I think that, uh, that's a cockbird that we put on here, an old bird, uh, 2016. For that guy being uh, 14 years old, he's still uh, very vital. But yeah, now you can see them sh sitting on the shelf. That's uh, the cockbird. And then the hen, probably, oh no, she's sitting down there. So yeah. And now we still have ones that probably will not make the cut. This is that nice bird out that I was talking about. He looks really nice. He has a really nice shape as well, just I don't think he's too smart. And now we still have the red one right there. Uh, I don't know. It's not uh, not exactly the best bird on his loft uh, by any means, so... Yeah, probably will not make it. Uh, I think it's a co bird because he, he had a nest uh, not too long ago. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep birds like that. 
what we might do is if we don't actually get to the number of seven cockbirds, we might uh, move them to this loft right here. We might move all of the birds from upstairs uh, to this loft right there, which has like nine, uh, nine nest boxes. Obviously you can close this door. So yeah, or we might not, we might not have, have to get a, get rid of that many cock birds upstairs. But then again, uh, you want to have as many young birds um, go over to yearling as possible, um, just to give them like a shot. They haven't actually proven anything uh, because they haven't been in shape like these guys have been, so it's kind of unfair. Um, so yeah, this is where most of these guys will be moving on to next year. Or if we don't get the number we want, we might, um, like I said, use the other loft. Yeah, uh, talking about the blue bars with a little bit of white and then the youngsters. Most of these are related to this guy. This one is a pretty good breeder, father of 611. So yeah, and he's also related to the blue bar in a certain way. And that's the grizzles father, both of them. Except like the darker one, the, that's he's out of, or she's out of the big grizzle on the young bird loft. Um, but yeah. Yeah, um, looks like we still have, that bird is a little sick. By the way, he's sitting. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that guy is a little sick. Might not want to fly him. Yeah, as you can see, a little update on the white flight end right there, uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, like I said, this guy uh, will go over to the breeding loft as one of our main uh, like breeders. And then, uh, that's that's a guy that we're uncertain about. He did fly pretty good uh, as an as a yearling now, uh, especially at the end of the season. Um, maybe as like six prizes in total combined, like uh, preseason and then late season, uh, which is actually a lot more than most of the young birds, but he as a young bird himself only flew like two prizes. So, you know, and then he flies six as a, as a yearling. So what are you going to do about it? Um, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we have some main staples like the old guy over there, A33 will not be going. Uh, we're gonna keep him 611 obviously, 636 all really good birds, uh, which we will keep. Um, and then that guy is a toss up. He flew really good as a young bird. That's actually the only birds that we own at the moment that flow to a Federation first place. Except maybe like some of the old breeders, but those are older than when before those are like before we started pigeon racing so i wouldn't know but yeah um what do we have 650 also a really good one i think 650 is gonna be a really good breeder um he had really really nice youngsters this year but they both got lost um only had one each nest but they were basically the best uh, looking birds on the loft uh, so yeah Unfortunately, we didn't manage to keep them. Yeah, 650 is that guy. We gave 650's brother uh, 649 away to the other guy. And the other guy actually flew, flew really, really well with uh, his kids. So uh, basically his uncle uh, to the kids that flew really good. So that's make me, that also makes me say that he's going to be a really good breeder. Hasn't flown the best uh, on nest this year, but he was kind of sick as well, like the melee. Uh, but he's getting better. Um, yeah, what do I have as well? 
uh, yeah he's paired up to this hand now um yeah uh that guy that's in here is for sure gonna go that's this guy right here and uh, not a good bird uh, we'll have to go and uh, the bird's up here as well that's 615 he is actually flying um really decent at the moment but he didn't fly a single price in the beginning of the season so you know he flew like three now and then none in the beginning of the season so again what are you gonna do uh, give him a chance to fly a third year or give some of the young birds a chance to fly a second year uh yeah the melee has to go uh also not a good bird he's paired up to her so yeah uh, two that have to go for sure are the melee and then the melee and that guy up there which is one two nest boxes and then we still have one from a bird that died uh, and one that stayed away so we have four um this guy will be moved to the breeding loft that's five uh, so yeah we got five for sure uh, and then two maybes uh, which is 615 and then the grizzle uh, are gonna be maybes uh, so we might have we have five for sure we might have seven depending on how many young young birds we want to give the chance so yeah let's get some close-up shots of that hand right there really nice looking hand She's actually our ace pigeon strain mixed with uh, Lambrex Geert. One of the nicer looking hands. She was uh, the first uh, old bird uh, last week, I believe, or in the midweek. I don't know. She hasn't actually flown the best. Um, she did fly really well as a young bird. But yeah. So yeah, that's kind of a little bit more information uh, about what we're going to do with the young birds. It's, kind of, it's always a to toss up what you want to do. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, part of pigeon racing is um, getting rid of a lot of birds and trying to figure out which one's the best. Uh, a lot of fanciers um, actually uh, do get their young birds in really good shape, uh, which we uh, basically never do. I don't know why, but they never get into a decent shape. Um, like for example, these guys in the beginning of the season were in uh, phenomenal shape. All of them basically uh, flew prizes um, every weekend. So yeah. But yeah, we never got to that point with the young birds. Um, they never wanted to fly, uh, always wanted to be on the loft. So. These guys, whenever you can tell by the old videos in the beginning of the season, I open up the window, they're already sitting in the aviary, ready to go outside to fly. That's what you want. That's how you can tell a bird is in good shape. Um, that's just not uh, the case for the young birds. You have to literally like force them to go outside. So yeah, uh, another sign. But yeah, when you have when you don't get your young birds in decent shape, it's you don't actually like get to know which ones have a lot of potential. You know, you know what I mean? Because they didn't fulfill it as a young bird. So you kind of have to guess uh, which ones are gonna do good. Uh, like for example, 636 right here. Amazing bird uh, as a yearling. Almost as good as 611, I'd say. Uh, are we really, really close to him? Um, he only flew like three or four prizes as a young bird and now he's flown like four really early prizes and then some later ones he's like only a few places behind on the ace pigeon uh, standings from 611 so you know uh, didn't expect that 611 did fly really well he flew like more than 12 prizes as a young bird so was kind of expecting him to fly really well but yeah it's always a toss-up um, like what i said so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little informational video um, as always leave a like comment subscribe and have a good day